So we have a long-standing problem here on the homestead, which is that we free range our chickens. And as anybody who free ranges chickens knows, they don't always lay their eggs in the coop. So I've been saying for a long time that I am going to put up a chicken run that we can keep them in for part of the day until they lay their eggs and then let them out to free range for the rest of the afternoon. It's high time that we actually start working on the big run so that we can keep the chickens in, get all the eggs that we need to get, and stop feeling like we're feeding chickens for no reason. <laughs> Josiah is working on putting in all the posts for me because of course when I said that I was going to put in a chicken run, it really means that Josiah is gonna put in a chicken run for me. And I would do it myself, except for what? The ground is impossibly hard. The ground, the ground is impossibly hard. And I would not have much success if I tried to pound the stakes into the ground. He's having a bear of a time with it as it is. Oh! <laughs> really got you that time. <laughs> you know, the joke's on you, you wash my laundry. <laughs> well, so we got a bucket of water to try to pour into the hole and soften up the dirt because it's so incredibly hard that we could not, we, that Josiah <laughs> could not make any headway getting the post in the ground. Wire and roll it out now. See if you have to have enough to go out and around with your field shape. While we were working on the chicken run, we noticed that this hen, who has been broody for maybe almost a week now, um, has decided to switch nests. These are her eggs. These are not. These were laid today, but she won't get off the nest. She's such a good mom, she doesn't want to get off it. Poor thing. Where's your eggs? <laughs> She's like, what have you done? So we've got in all the posts that we need for the back side of this run. And I'm working on finishing up getting the fencing attached to these last few posts. Josiah, I wasn't going to mention that. The chickens fly. Here's the thing. We Have wait... you never watched chicken run? Once. We wait until it's late at night and we grab chickens and we cut their wings. Till they can't jump over this. You just want to cut their wings off? Yes. But then... Tasty. Cut... Chicken no. wings. No. no. It's not kosher. <laughs> Cutting the wings off live chickens and eating them is kosher. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I can get behind that. He cares more about the uh, right now. He cares about the alfalfa and not about the breeding. Oh, it's so funny. Um, so, come on. You want to tell us what's going on here? Oh, I definitely want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> so, fuel is in heat today, and um. As you know, the saga with the Beulah is that she, guys are loud, uh, we can't breed her. So we brought in Jersey Bull, but he's only a year old. We tried him out three weeks ago and he's not tall enough to reach Beulah. So 
three weeks later, we decided we better micromanage this relationship. There's a stream that kind of runs down our runoff from our land and it creates this little creek, but it's only seasonal. But it kind of drops off right here, so Brennan just dug it out a little so her feet will fit down inside. And hopefully we're going to let the bull out and he will circle <laughs> and find the right position. So uh, that's what we're doing today. I don't remember if I mentioned that the bull we brought in is actually the one of the bulls we used to have. Um, we had two bulls last fall. If you look back and see, we had a Jersey cow and she had two bulls on her. Uh, neither of them were hers. She was a nurse cow uh, when we bought her. And one of them attached to Beulah, this one. Um, we sold, after Carla died, we sold the other calf um, right away. Um, and then this one nursed on Beulah until I think we sold him in May. And it was really more of a trade. We didn't really sell them. We traded uh, with another family this bull uh, for a dog, a puppy that they're going to have in the spring. And so he is a year old, but he basically started nursing on Beulah as soon as he got here. <laughs> Beulah doesn't have any milk. Um, then he started nursing on Aurora. She does have milk. And that was a problem because we were not getting any milk. <laughs> and he tore up her teats, so now I have to deal with that. Anyway, um, we put a nose ring in, as you can see, and that has stopped his nursing. Um, but now we are going to see if he's interested in Beulah. This is your thumbnail. Matchmaker. Right there in the blue sky. Matchmaker. She doesn't seem stressed or nervous there. See this thing she's doing? She's been doing it for a few days now. I looked in her mouth, don't say anything wrong. Looked under her tongue. I mean, I, it's hard to keep a cow's mouth open when they don't want you to. Is she like mineral deficient? They have minerals, but I don't really know why she does. She's been licking this cow, Tilly. But so does Beulah, and Beulah doesn't do that weird thing with her mouth. This cow, when she came to us, had had a like a pour over um, fly spray, probably very conventional, you know, toxic. So I've worried about I've worried about the cows um, licking them, licking her. But I can't really stop them. They're all jealous because look. You look at hay because she has to stand here for a while. She just wants to eat. Is she showing any signs? She looks swollen. Surely then. <laughs> Are you going to pick his front legs up now? Yep. No, but I just hold him here just to see if he changes his mind. <laughs> they might not be ready. I mean, maybe she's not quite ready. Maybe she put him back in there till we see a little more action and then bring him back out. What do you think? I don't know. Tally, what are you doing? You're not going straight in, right? You're going a long way? No, you have to go straight in, perpendicular to their tail. So, hold it up a little more. Oh, I can't, I don't know if I can stab it in there. She tenses because she knows what's coming. She's had it done before. Oh, I just don't, I don't know if I can do it. Why are you holding my arm? Because it's making me nervous. <laughs> I don't know. Would it help if I screamed it last time? No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How do we be brave enough to just Watch stab it in? Watch the around my arm because I'm not pregnant. I don't need to. <laughs> Can I stab it into her? Mm -hmm. It's really thick. <sighs> what if I miss the vein? Yep. Then you'll just you'll just poke her then. Oh, but I don't want to hurt. But it's. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> don't want to do it. 
I know. <laughs> You've spent your life afraid of needles. I know. Oh, no, I have to do it. Somebody else do it. Do it. I, mean, I, don't know I think you've got to get your hand rested here so you can actually get some pressure. Thank you. You just like that. Is it? Don't pull it out! Oh. Ah. Now you're squeezing between the syringe and the vial, okay? You're alright, girl. You're doing great, baby. No, you might have to shift it around a little. Hey, you got Baby, you got blood. Pull it up. You did it. No, you did it. Hey, go cry later. You did it. I love you. Good job. I'm sorry. She forgot about it already. <laughs> Mama just drew blood from a cow. Can you believe that? So, did you do the seven steps that Micah ran through on here? Did you tell me Micah read these to you? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. He was like, step one. Oh, step one, watch a YouTube video. Step two, get some red stuff in a straw. Step three, put it in the sink. Like, dump the blood in the sink. And then put water down the sink. <laughs> then color your clock red. Plus CTCT, minus CTCT, XCTCT. It's that simple. It's that simple. He did it much funnier than me, but it was so funny. He was cracking himself up. I need to go get this in the test. You did it, baby. We have waited 20 minutes, and um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, oh no, I have to go get a better camera. But if you've ever taken a pregnancy test, you know that it's okay that the test uh, is a little light on the bottom. The top one's the control, um, meaning the test is working. And the bottom one is just slightly pink. So that means Aurora is pregnant, and um, that's what I needed to confirm, even though I was pretty sure I hadn't seen any heats from her in a while. Um, she was bred July 9th. That means we'll have an April calf. 